Hello everyone, welcome to my quick tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about uh, setting up a syslog server on your Red Hat uh, system. Alright, so the first thing as you can see I am on the root uh, syslog server. The first thing we want to do is open up the Etsy syslog or syslog.conf all right, so all we need to do here is we got to look for, if you want to do TCP or UDP, um, it, it allows that reception. So you can just um, comment that out. All right. And then there's also one thing we need to do really quick is uh, we need to tell it where it's going to save the file. So pretty much um, this is where all the logs are going to go. So... So it's uh, template, dynamic file, and then this is the location where it's going to be saved. Like So pretty much this is where we're going to look to see the logs for the client. And then we're going to use this percent sign, host name, and this is the variable which is going to populate it with the actual name of the actual server. All right, double check. Everything looks good. So we're going to exit out of here. And then what we're going to do is system CTL. And then we're going to restart the syslog server service. Okay. And then let's look at the status. Make sure there's no issues or anything that popped up in the logs. All right, don't see any issues, everything looks good. Next thing, we're gonna open up the ports. Actually, what we can do is first check uh, Netstat. Um, this is actually gonna op um, open up the, or show you the ports and all that that's open. So it looks like it's listening on port 514. As you can see here, if we grep for 514, we can see that is listening on IPv6 and then IPv4, um, so basically in the IP on port 514. That looks good. Let's go to the client real quick. Let me adjust this. Okay, cool. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to also have to go to Etsy or syslog.conf. So for this one, we pretty much have to get the IP of the first one. So we're going to go down here, we're going to un uncheck this, and then we're going to uncheck this. So you see action type um, OM forward, and then this, we're going to have to change to the actual IP address. And then here will be port 514, so port 154, and we see that it's TSCP. So we're going to go back to the first server, and we're going to get the actual IP address, which will... As we can see here, the IP address is 172.19.207.109. So we're going to put it over here. We're going to put 172.19.207.109. We're going to escape. We're going to restart the service. System CTL, restart. Restart our syslog. Technically speaking, um, we're supposed to be opening up ports here um, for firewall firewall rules or sometimes SC Linux rules. So how we know how do we know if everything is working correctly? We gotta look at the status. So after you restart it, you can see the status, and if there's any errors with it, it will give it. It will tell you here. So over here it says um, no um, route to host, unable to connect, um, it's suspended. So what we're gonna do? We can open up the firewall rules. So we're going to do firewall command. So this is this sits right on top of IP tables. It's um it's a really um, easy uh, program or daemon to use. So what we can do is uh, do permanent. This will make it permanent. This real permanent. And then we're going to do add port. And then it's going to be 514 slash TCP. 
that's what we're using and then we also have to reload the configuration or reload the file reload the firewall so everything is working correctly and then let's restart this our syslog okay and then we're going to check the status again so i pretty much do this until i don't see any errors or issues i still see issues here so what i can do is um pipe it into less so i can get basically so i can read on um, the full output um, just to make it easier so it says suspended there should be messages before this one okay so if we check the net stat as we can see it's not working properly as you can see here there's nothing to do there's nothing here about um, the actual uh, <clears throat> port 514 all right let me go back to the first one make sure that I still have those same fire rules here too firewall rules here so we're going to do permanent and then we're going to do zone equals public and then add port 414 tcp yeah i forgot to do it to the other one to add it to the public uh public zone because i think we're currently in public zone so let's do the same thing over there again. So all we have to do is add that again. Zone equals public. Nice. It's already enabled. We see that. Let's restart these services. It looks good so far, actually. Beautiful. It looks good. So we're going to go over here. We're going to use a tail command F. This will actually look for um, any new messages coming in. So it's pretty much just like watching this file. As you can see, it is working. Um, because as you can see here, the name of our server is syslog server but as you can see in the actual d message or like the actual like timestamps you can see the date on the left side and then you can also see syslog client syslog syslog client so it is populating that um, host name so if we go here we can test it we can do logger and we can do hello just testing let's do that like three times in a row and if we go back as you can see it's showing us that it's working so there you have it um, very simple to set up your syslog server as you can see this 